Hello and welcome to the AusNZ Combined Racing League Session 4 of the Bathurst 1000. I'm your host, Dark Racing 40, and alongside, tonight, alongside me tonight is Jetto 13. Say hello, Jetto. Hello, we all. Keen for this final session, the last of four sessions with the Bathurst 1000. At the end of this 41 laps, we will have the winner of the 2020 Bathurst 1000 here at AusNZ. That is it. So we are looking at a ding-dong battle here. Six cars on the lead lap here. So that's it. The most we've ever had in. as a league. So it's going to be an interesting battle at the start of the race. That's it. Yeah, just watch your volume there, Jetto, when you speak. It's coming a bit loud, but that's all right. Okay. So that's it for opening practice now. In a couple of minutes. Dado shows face there. That's it. Dado was quick. The last session. So yeah, 201. That's the quickest I've actually seen him go, to be honest. So, but does race pace. That's it. So he's now, he's now discovered the wonderful joys of a cord, plugging his Xbox into the modem. So hopefully his connection issues and handling issues will fix itself now. So we might see something special from Dado. So... Unfortunately, he's a few laps down. It, that's that's one thousand though. Anyone's game. One accident, one big crash, and you can go on a couple of laps down. So now, as we're just getting waiting for Woody, who's hosting this session, to. Uh, Advances forward. It wants to advance. We'll have a formation lap with our first six racers who are on the lead lap. We'll take a formation lap just to get their positions right, as it will come through that as a random correct. grid. Um, and right. then we basically, we we treat the right start right? of this race like a we treat the start of this race like a safety car has happened. But to make sure that the cars that are a lap down stay on their lap down, we ask them to pull over after the first turn, sit on the grass. So you'll see some cars hitting up mountain straight on the grass. So. That's a rolling start coming in the last turn. Well, always makes... We don't allow any overtaking until the start finish line. So it will make interesting for a turn, a, a fiery turn one, I, I reckon. Cars... Taking turn one, or position up to mountain straight. <laughs> Here we go, so all the drivers are loading their setups. Won't be far away from the start in this final session of our Bathurst 1000. That is correct here. 41 laps to go, and it's going to be an interesting race. That's it. Uh it was a very aggressive session three, so we'll see what happens in session four now. So, it the uh, first three sessions were basically buying a ticket through to this final session, and we're at the final session. It's going to be all on the line, so That's nothing good. else at the end. Forty-one laps and counting. But no matter what happens tonight, at the end of the day, we will have a brand new Bathurst champion. For Oz and Z combined racing league here. So we have a first time Bathurst winner tonight, no matter what happens. There are no previous Bathurst competitors who have won this race competing tonight, so. And this session, Darky, it all comes down to that final 41 laps for yourself and, and your partner, Highlander. You're going that's for the it. Triple Crown, so which yep. here at Oz and Z, that's basically winning the Daytona. In uh, no, no, Indy, no, Indy, no Indy, isn't it? Indy 500. Yep, yep. Le Mans 24 hour. And, and the, the Bathurst 1000. 
Uh, all down to these last 41 laps, and you can be the second person in our, in our league to take that on us. So we'll keep track of that yep. over the race and see what your nerves also, are going with our last 10 laps. Yep, also considering that this is not a car I particularly like to drive or a track I particularly enjoy driving, so doing pretty good at a track I'm not really fancy at. So here we go, sinking, out of the race. We have the formation lap. And there goes Simo to take the lead. Highland is right at the back, just being very cautious here. And here comes Weary Knight. And there's uh, Maddie, Maddie Seeking. Seeking. Woody, uh, Lizard. Woody Lizard. Right Sower. Is it Right Sower? Oh, yeah. Right Sower to the car now. And that will be everyone on the lead lap, I believe. Yes, yes. Now we've got the lap cars. These are the lap cars leaving the grid to get the formation. So um, the commander is Night Havoc. Got Night Havoc yet. Timmy82. Night Havoc should yep, pull over to the side of the road just here, and that's where they'll be lining up. Um, <coughs> they're free to. They're basically free to pass once they work out how many laps they're down. So Low Lux, oh no, not Night Havoc, sorry, is one lap down. So once the leader comes around on the first lap, he's free to go. And basically all the following cars will follow suit with the number of laps that they are down. And there's your teammate right at the back who has had, um, had a big, big night and didn't make session three, unfortunately. Who's parked a long way back, actually. Which is uh, not, not Pegasus. So let's go Pegasus. to the front here. Where the, I think we've got... Now. That's it. We've got the uh, top six, and then we've got, what, Night Havoc one lap down. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think we've got Timmy and Lolux. It's almost... Yeah, they're down one lap, I believe. Um, two laps, I think. Dado three, and then the rest of them are all down the maximum of six. Yeah, I believe so. So here we go. Me on that. Across the top of the mountain. So once we exit the chase, it's up to the, the lead car, which is uh, Simo Racing to dictate when he wants to accelerate and go. So, also we're going one more lap here, so pit strategies might change a little bit more now, because you've got to do one extra lap. You need that fraction bit more fuel. Let's just hope all the drivers have made that little adjustment and someone doesn't uh, fall short in the final lap. Yeah, and do a, do a potential champion, which is running out of fuel in the final lap. Is uh, the uh, teammate of the uh, Cash Show, Cash Cow, Channel 7 car, Sirius is in the chat, telling his teammate to go. Matt is also one of the only drivers in this session racing on controller. That's an effort in, effort in itself, especially around Bathurst. It's going to be a challenging so track to anyone. The, I think the code word is baguette and the cream cheese from the uh, Cash Show Cash Cow car. All right, here we go. So here, we, so he can. As he comes under the unpass, he can take the uh, he can take control of the race. Very nice. <laughs> he is very close to Highlander's Highland. tail in there. That's it, but he can't pass him. He can overlap him. Highlander should get a little bit closer up here. Okay, so as soon as the acceleration starts, there we go. we're away. Gone. We're alive. Final session of the Bathurst 1000. 41 laps and counting. Make that 40 now. One lap down. And Maddie oh, Maddie, what's out happened? Straight away. No, he's, oh, he's got a bit of a wiggle. Here we go. He's got a problem. Maddie's got a problem back there. He, no, he's, he's let them go. He doesn't want to battle them. He just wants to let them go. He just let, he's fallen back to Zixon just to run his own race. And hopefully the other guys will make mistakes in front of him. And we're away. So here we go. Simo's taken an early, early lead. He's got the jump. Up now for the first time in anger. Good racing. Everyone's away clean. Got through the first few corners and we're away. Already gaps being made. First three are slowly pulling away. Simo's had a great start. Out to a second lead already. Halfway through the first lap. Yeah, he gapped Highlander at the start there, so... It has been very quick in these previous sessions, but as we all know, 40 laps is a long time in Bathurst. Anything can happen.
lots to go here from here on in. I think we've got our seventh place car that's actually rolling on track now. There is Night Havoc. So he's the only one one lap down. So everyone else must be everyone else behind him must be two laps down. Here's Woody Lizard. And right so right so uh been extremely quick these the first few sessions he's raced. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how he can go this session, see if he can jump up the leaderboard there a bit from sixth. That's it. The car the car has been fast, so Weary night, the man doing double stints today. Jeez, Wasn't he's not doing... particularly feeling too well last night, had a few uh, bodily issues, we'd say. He's done he's all right so far, so it's, he's, he's doing three he sessions out of this. So he's yeah, done three so he of the four struggle. sessions. Yeah, he might start to struggle this session now. We'll see how he goes. The pace this is hot from the start. Look at that, 202s, first lap out. Yeah. So we should see the next round of cars leaving their start position now, I believe. No, not yet. No, I think they're four laps down, the next slot. Four and six, maybe? Really? That's a long wait for these guys, unfortunately. So. These oh, it's just on track at the moment. Right so, was, yeah, right so I was caught right up to the back end of Woody. Oh, Pushing that's quite hard, that straight to the end there. Wipes the mirror a little bit of paint work on that right hand side of the body. That's it. These cars are pretty pretty tolerant to any sort of touches right on, so you're fine with that sort of stuff. So we have a McFillany coming out of Skyline now for their third lap. Down to the S's. You gotta be careful, you need to take as much curve as that. I had it in the third steer and I got up on that curve and the car went all sideways over it. It's lucky it didn't go around then for me. <coughs> now to Forest Elbow, onto Conrad. Let's see what Hollander can pull. Can he get any arrow off Woody? Any draft to pull him along? Highlander's pulled out, no, Simo's pulled out a three second lead there in second place. He's absolutely flying this lap. Well, that's so deep on the brakes under the chase. Ooh, what up? Hitting back, pain his time. 201 for Simo, 203 for Highlander. That's where that extra two seconds has come. That's, that's a flying lap for Simo. 201.3. That is very close to the lap record. I think what he said early on in the last session, I think it was a 201.1, yep. I think. It was Sato, yep. I think, had that record from last year. Yeah, that's <coughs> correct. if you can keep that up. Everyone else is lapping pretty close on, so they're all in the mid two way threes, not as that to throw a blanket over that field from second through to fifth. Matt is the only one in the two oh sixes. But he's running his own race here. He's, as you can see he didn't want to battle these guys on the controller. He might get in these guys way, causing that wreck and destroy their races, so that's it we can see he's already eight seconds down from where he started, so Obviously he knew he was off the pace and he's done the, the gentleman thing and let them all through. And that's it. It's still a long race, any of these guys can make a mistake and can still make up time. Woody's, yeah, looking, Woody's, look, Woody's looking solid here too. Let's be all now, it is quite hard to stay concentrated when that re when your rear mirror is just full of a front end bonnet of the car behind you. So he's doing he's doing well to keep up the pace as well. That's it. This is our leader. Simo Racing. Just coming through the chase right now. Heading towards Me. the final corner now. Coming into complete lap 
four. So we should see the next round of laps, guys, get going soon. But consistently 201s, last two laps. That's it. No. I think Jimmy and them should be. Oh, next lap, it must be. No, oh, he's away. No, there he goes. He's starting to roll. Mm -hmm. trying to, you don't want to wheel spin it too much off the grass. You want to take your time. We have Timmy and Lolux now joining, which so they're they, obviously four laps they down. Don't want, that's it, and they don't want to get in the way of these other guys who are battling. So. And they've done well. They've done well in joining and not interrupting any of those lead cars that are fighting for position. Well, these guys have a bit of a battle now because their tyres are going to be pretty cold now. Pressure's going to be down. But it's not going to handle well. The first so one to two laps, you'd be uh, definitely taking it easy, especially up over the top of the mountain and coming down as well. So. Well, the one good thing about these guys is they don't need to put so much fuel in when they do their pit stop, and they can go a lot, lot later if they really want to. We're rejoining this battle with Wright Sauer and Woody. Bumper to bumper, just putting in lap times at the moment. Woody will be feeling that pressure for sure. Oh, it goes a bit deep over the uh, S's there, gets a bit of grass. The start of this race has been lightning though. Look at those lap times, like sitting in two, I don't think we've got the lead, first five have gone over a 203 at the moment, so definitely on pace and pushing hard. Well, so it looks like he's got a good run out of the uh, Forest Elbow and now trying to get a draft on Woody down the down Conrod. He hasn't seemed to be pushing too hard. He hasn't really made a move as of yet. He's just quite happy sitting behind Woody at the moment. Oh, I don't think he's too happy sitting behind him. I think he's just trying to wait for the perfect opportunity. So. Woody's yeah, getting Woody's, pretty good drive out of the corners. If Woody's doing two o threes, it doesn't really give you much of a chance to find a good opportunity to pass. So when they're all back lapping this no. time sort of well, there we go. There well, we go. Here we go. Peak of the devil. Look at that. Giving him the inside run the coming state. up to turn one. On the inside, pitches in. There we go. Right side takes the position away from Woody Lizard. As there goes the next car. That's a lap down. That's Dado Racer. Dado's away, so he'll be in the front of these two. These two will be catching. Green mean machine. That's not what Right side wants to see. Oh, Dado's done the no, gentleman Dado thing. Let's, yeah, just let them through. It's good to see here here in AusNZ we sort of pride ourselves on the nice clean racing and respecting all the rules and regulations of the blue flags coming through. We don't want to be interrupting other people's races. Oh, we're, very nice got a time penalty, so does Woody. That's very early on. One and two One seconds. Second. I reckon Woody's pushing hard. Woody's pushing hard. Oh, no, right side's got past Woody. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that turn one, didn't he? So now let's see the pace of Rice over, you can start pulling away from Woody and maybe hunt down Weary Knight. Oh, he's, he's, he's making a mistake there, also yes, that's going to give him a slowdown. Is he going to take it or is he just going to take the time penalty and push on? Uh, I think he's pushing on. Yep. So we're going to see Rice over a time penalty here in a second, which will probably be about one to two seconds. Should be only, should be only a second. Oh, I a did that by mistake and got a two second penalty. But it's sometimes quicker to take the time penalty and then ditch the, uh, then trying to slow it down for it. You lose too much time, so sometimes just take the uh, time penalty and deal with it at the end of the race. There he goes. His box has just gone red now, so here's Timmy82. The Timmy and Lolox started at the same time, so he's pulled a bit of a gap on Lolox already. Already pulled out five seconds. That's it. Oh. oh, there's a bit of a mistake. Oh, it keeps on track. Oh, that five seconds now just been reduced. Well, Lolux, Lolux, uh, he's right, he's right, right side panels is definitely, <laughs> definitely pulled up. We've got Matty Seeking so coming uh, up behind Lolux too, so... We should see... We should see the next round of cars leaving... Now I believe they should be Get left. Yep, they're on every, the way. Every, everyone's away. So that's it. Oh, right in front of right so Pegasus is pulled out, out which is nice. 
Woody, Woody has to through as well. Be a bit quicker. Yeah, to be a bit quicker to get out into the cutting. This will be Pegasus' first first stint. Uh, yeah. My teammate, obviously, yeah, we're six laps down. Do that third session, and me, me being unable to drive and fill in, Pegasus not making the session. Uh, but that's that's racing. So, you know, mate. Cars, I believe, on the same lap as you guys, so you can still move yeah, last three, so here. Gives them something to race for, which is good. Yep, so. Jumping back to this second place battle between your teammate Highlander and Weary Knight. That's We've it. been holding our own and doing about the same lap time, so if that last lap time Highlander has been a, half a, oh, a second and a half a bit quicker, so. But, Imo out yeah. front's out to a five second lead and lapping in the 202s, so he's on pace at the moment. Oh, we'll have to wait till all wait till the leaders really get into lap traffic. Just yeah, right take so a while, because all the lap traffic's right behind him now. Right side's so in the traffic right now. He's catching up to uh, two um, Dark Lord and Devil. Dark Lord and Devil. Hopefully they can uh, respect as well and let, let these blue flags through. Yep, yeah, Dark Lord's pulled over, let him go through. We just dropped a bit of time behind right side, unfortunately, so... Yeah, that last lap he had a bit of not, a bit of traffic there. He struggled to get through. Night Pickers is coming through when he was at this stage the previous lap, so that probably hurt him a little bit. Probably going to hurt right side a little bit here, catching the back markers coming up the mountain. Not a lot of passing opportunities here. No, it's it's you really need the car in front to to basically indicate that you're going to give him the room. Oh. Dark Lord tags the wall at McFillany. This car's dance, dance through the S's. Yeah, right, so I was going to be hoping to get past. Um, Devil here. It's so just costing him time. Just costing him time. Flashing his lights Flashing to try and let him through, him. but... New to the league, he's... There you go, he's yeah, he finally the gets through. Pass now. That last lap of right side so was a 2035, which was matching it with the <laughs> leaders. That was decent devil. Let's see how much time here. Right side so was lost, being stuck behind the lap cars. But Woody's now got to pass these two lap cars, so he's... Now it's Got to turn. try and get through it. Time right, yep. so I do. Two o three still. Right, so two o three seven still. Didn't get held, up, still, held so. up that much. Actually, so that's not so bad. No, nah, Devil seemed pretty. Devil seemed pretty quick there, coming over the top and through. So down the yeah, mountain. So it didn't cost him too much time. So that's lucky for him. Now Woody's turns to get past the try and get past the back markers. Whoa, oh, Woody gets it all sideways. A bit sideways. You're watching that gap and it'll be scaring him too a little bit, so he's probably pushing that little bit hard to try and actually make this pass and keep on the on that rear of right so That's it, boy, oh, he's wide again. What did he touch the wall there? I think he did actually. Close. I've confirmed nor did I. I think he's a little bit um, razzled by that half slide he had at Griffin, so he's just a little bit hesitant right now. Just needs to settle back in. He's lost quite a bit of ground there. Tail of these blokes. Yeah.
Yeah, locks up into Forest Elbow now, makes the run onto Conrod. We got Sirius is asking his Night Havoc past Matty. There's Matty. That Night Havoc behind him? Yes, it is. So the answer to that question is no. What's lap on Night Havoc doing? Night Havoc last lap was a. 206. 206 to Matty's 207. Half a second. So if Night Havoc gets past him, he's unlapped himself to Matty, but he still needs to get around again. So he's Rear Knight on the rear bumper of. It's Highlander, so this is second v, second v third on track. That's it. Now lap times are all pretty quick here, 202s. So the tyres will start, start to hurt now for the cars. It, Looking from Highlander into the cutting. Tend to, they tend to drop off quite quick. So that, that 14 15 lap mark and you definitely start to notice the difference but saying that that's session yeah. two they send it to last a little bit longer i'm not sure how they went that last session darky you might be able to form us on that one since no you, they, they, they the pretty much died they weren't too happy so i think everyone was in the same boat so all the tires were equally dying for all the cars so Dark Horse now picked up a time penalty as well now. So we go, oh, weary night, backs it sideways into the forest elbow. So he's going to have the draft of Highlander, but he's not really going to be able to do anything. They're pushing down the straight, they should be hitting excess. Oh, Highlander. What is, what is he doing? Wide there. Highland is spun. Where is he headed? Where is he? Trying to find out. He's gone. He's gone. Disconnected. No, no. Highland has been disconnected. Weary is breaking, wondering what the hell's going on. But Ed, I haven't, didn't see the disconnect yeah. come up. But his name's definitely not no. there in the list. Yeah, we're down to 13 now. So unfortunately, there goes my car. Oh, it's devastating, Darky. That's for the Triple Crown. No, oh, well. no, no, well, Un I have to try it another year. Unfortunately, that's the uh, horrible things of sim racing and the hardware issues and internet issues that we have. Yep. Sometimes just cannot be seen. I felt the exact same pain at the at Le Mans. Le Mans 24 hour. Mm. You were leading the stage. Leading the race. Uh, GTE. Not a pleasant feeling, makes you feel a bit queasy in the gut, but unfortunately, no. in the world of sim racing, there's not much we can do about it. So that's going to drop us from second, well, we're going to finish last now, so that's it, we're done. We're going to finish 13th here. Devastating news. That's it, Highlander was looking forward to having a potentially good run at this year's Bathurst 1000, so... Yeah, he's definitely been putting in the track. In the, it's been very quick. Uh, it would be I've just got a quick message from him. So, Oop. yeah, it was kind of a weird disconnect that one. It was like he sort of lost control of it, and then all, all of a sudden it's disappeared and gone. It's uh. One man's bad luck's another person's gain, and that puts Wright Sower up to third place now, so they're sitting on a podium. That's it. Surprisingly, so now it's just moved so, now, so now Woody's looking at Woody's up to podium, fourth, yeah? but Woody's managed to get past those lap traffic, but look at that gap. It's lost a good eight, eight, seven, eight seconds and that, just to get past them, which wouldn't be happy with, but at halfway through this session, so, oh, not even halfway through, but a quarter of the way through, so there's still plenty of time to be gained. Well, there goes Devil. We have a lucid rack man as Dark Lord lets, has a moment too. Was he going around Dado Racer? No, he's backing off and then Dado around him. That's it, Will. 
Dark Lord and Devil are actually fighting for position, so they're actually 10th and 11th on track, so they're letting through all this, all this, and... So, speak to the man who's just had the, apparently, disconnect. Highlands just joined the party. If he wants to join the chat, click, click the button. Yeah, feel free to join, mate. This is the data leading Dark Lord and Devil there. I've ticked the button. Oh, yep. Devastating, mate. Not what we wanted to see. You were lapping well, and uh, as we said, unfortunate circumstances with what we get here at sim racing. It's out of our control when stuff like that happens. Yeah. yeah. Calm down a little now. I was pretty angry when it happened. Oh. Dark little taps the wall there. Well, fortunately, these things happen, but there's always next year, so we can have another crack at this one. But we can look up to the one thing here, Highlander. You didn't finish second this time. <laughs> no, no, I definitely didn't. Uh, I think my championship will be looking pretty grim too, giving away 300 points. So uh, yeah, well, you'll be still getting. Yeah, that's going to be a tough nut to crack. So you then, think who you're battling, right side? Yeah, right side and Woody, who are both doing well. So I pretty Third much four, probably <laughs> lost Bathurst and the championship in one go. <laughs> well, we'll see. There's, there's still plenty of races to go, so. We'll see you never know, there could be the end of the day. anything could happen to their hardware in the last few few races. Could we wish that upon anyone? Yeah, no, I'm just sorry, Darky. I was I was doing my best, mate. I was no, trying pretty hard. Right. These things happen, mate. There's always another year, so we can always have a crack at them. So maybe we can get a um, secret sauce from, from our teammate car here, and we'll try their setup. See if it's yeah. better. <laughs> That's it. Um, when did I drop out on the stream? Coming down the straight, mate. Uh, so you come down on the Conrod, you sort of jerk to the right, and then we were on board with Weary, who was catching you, and then you sort of lost it. And he made a move exactly on the outside to chase. Yeah, about lap 10, I think it was. And then yeah, you yeah. Just disappeared. Yeah, because what happened for me is there was a car just sitting still in the middle of the track, which meant I was disconnecting. But I jerked right to go, what the fuck was that? Yeah. And... Um, yeah, and then um, yeah, so. yeah, for me, he was trying to make a move around my outside, and I um, yep. you know, thought I had him, but yeah, then I had no no game left. That just shows what the disconnect must have been. There was no one ahead of you for the whole straight, I don't think so. Yeah, and we're just like, why are you on the grass for? Like, you're doing something weird going on you, so... Mm. Well, that must have been your yeah, jerk to the right that we saw, and then you hit the grass, yeah, no, I the disconnect I happened. I swung to the right to avoid a car. It was Dark Lord's car on my screen, big yellow car, and I almost collected it. Because I looked in my mirrors, oh. and then when I looked forwards again, there was a car. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> well, that's alright. Well, we've got we're on lap 13 now, 41, so Simo's got a nice second lead over a weary night. It, Simo's so absolutely see... flying. I don't think I've seen him go out of the 203s yet, though. So. <laughs> He's definitely well, I think he's, setting some hot laps. I think he's backed it off a bit now. He, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have any real pressure on his backside, so... Yeah, he can look after the tyres now. And that, it, the run, we're doing a low 203. Knows he drops a bit wide there at turn one, picks up a dust. So but, quite so, a before the disconnect there, Highlander, how was the car? Was the car handling right? Was it nice? I was reasonably confident I was going to make some ground in the pit stops and um, start pushing really hard for the last 20 laps. I was just sort of circulating then, just you know, trying to keep a good pace, trying not to burn off my tyres too much. I just wanted to sit in the 202s and 203s until the pit stop, but... Uh, oh, very nice in pits. Very nice. It's early. Just went through pit lane there. Oh, no, he, well, I reckon he's made an accident. Coming into that last turn, maybe. Look at that front left, it's got a bit of damage on it, so... Yeah, but he had damage on it earlier, but he just went through pit lane. Like, that's weird. So now Rizzo's jumped up into second. He's only dropped... Maybe, maybe just... You know, weird. Oh. I think with fuel, it's, it's, it's too short of a stop for... Yeah. ...tires and fuel, he's, so... Like he has, he's only dropped um, 20 sec... 20 odd seconds. That's weird. Unless he accidentally launched the car pretty early at the start, he couldn't have gone to the drive through, which he shouldn't have done. Always oh, on the grass there. Did, did he oh, go yeah, through pit lane weird. though, or did he just come out of the pit exit? Did he make a mistake coming into turn one and maybe spin and then? Maybe, 
maybe that could have happened. So some weird shenanigans going there. So that's nice definitely uh, that's made a battle now for third. It's weir weary and Woody. There's not much between yeah, second, Woody. third, and fourth now. So Woody's There's six seconds behind Right Sower, and Woody's two seconds beyond. I mean, Weary's only two seconds behind Woody. So there goes Dado. Dado's pulled out of the way. Dado's running good luck here. Two oh three seven. So he's quick. So plugging in the cables actually made these issues work fine. We go, lads. Uh, one of our previous champions, the Bathurst and the Triple Crown. Uh, Holders commented in, in our Twitch saying no worse feeling than a sim racing is the disconnect. Disappointing to see, right. so. Can we get rid of the speedo? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it was a bit sad. I, um, yeah, no, we'll fight again next year. I might get going, That's gents. It, I'm going to go and do something to get my mind off the little <laughs> You might have to do That's what Jetta, happened to Jetta with Le Mans, go for a long walk. Oh, yeah, I think I'm for a bit due of a one. stroll down the street. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be what I Bad do. luck. All right, All catch right, you mate. guys. We'll speak to you later. See ya. There's words. There's words from Highlander, the man who had a disconnect while looking good. So that's going to be a critical blow to his championship hunt and also a potential Bathurst 1000 just going down the drain there. Yeah, as he said, 300 points on offer for those standings which would definitely yep. make a fair old chunk. That's it. The worst part is the cars that are leading they're up the front are his rivals so they can take a big chunk out of his championship battle. But we still have at least three sprint races at the next round which will be Laguna Seca and then two longer races at Spa so anything can happen there. So Simo has got a 17 second lead over Riso now. Yeah, okay, so looking at Weary's lap time, his last lap time that we saw him come out of the pits or that area was yeah. a 2.13, so it's not I really long enough to go through the pits. No, I reckon you might be correct. I reckon he lost it, almost backed it into pit lane, but mm. because the game's registered that he's on the pit lane exit, he's like he's in pits, and then he's got to get going. So he's lucky he actually didn't get disqualified if he actually backed it into oh, the Oh, if uh, he backed in the pit lane, the, the lane. rear entry into the pit lane. <laughs> that would have been one for the record books. I'm no, seriously saying, no, nah, that's an outlap, so... Yeah, true, that is an outlap, but... Yeah, I know. Some, something, weird, something weird going on there, so we don't know what's happening. Maybe he hasn't had any forced feedback, and he had to reset his wheels, so it oh, was a safer space to do it, or do it in pit lane. Yeah, watch this space. So, can now Weary Knight make his way back up into second place, so... He's... He's... Devil... Devil... Devil XI? Yeah. Well, Rider right Dark Lord Dark was very slow at the chase there. And these two were fighting for 10th and 11th on track, so they've been bumper to bumper since the start, so... There's up here, Timmy in the background here. Simo, lap 16. These guys are six laps down. They're on lap 10. So if I was these guys, I would probably go absolutely to the end of the fuel window and then put, put fuel in tires. At least the you can. That's, gonna be it. Go. That's it. Oh, they're both on deep here. I think the uh, sun's just starting to go down a bit now. The shadows are coming a little bit bigger. He's very nice. It's catching Woody, but Woody, Dado's Woody in front with of him. him. Yeah, Dado's been quick, Dado's, but Dado's, Dado's been Dado's letting the let, let, he's been letting let, but he's been letting the lead cars through. So those two oh six lap times, I wouldn't believe that's his actual race pace at the moment. Dado. Oh, where oh, he goes no, around. Woody Knight goes around. And he oh, and he's backed it into the wall. Oh, it's all going pear shaped for Weary Knight. That's it. So now that rear wing's crumpled out. Look at that bootleg. It's all buckled up now. So Weary Knight can potentially pit now and make it to the end of the race. But he's going to be potentially snagging fumes. So we'll see if he does that right now. He'll have to be furiously changing his pitch strategy. 
Interesting. He make, it, he could, lap 16, I think, you know, he, could, he should be able to make it to the lap finish if he pits now. It's the, this is the absolute earliest you can pit and make it to the end. But your tyres will be so shot by the end, so... He hasn't pitted either, so... No. Might be trying one more lap. One more lap, see how the car's handling. Unless he hasn't so got too much not damage, be... but... Oh, that's a lot of damage, that rear wheel <laughs> So that's gonna so that's crippled the weary night challenge now, so now it's right side uh, and Woody and they're only about five seconds apart from each other now. It's gonna give them both some clean air now, so by the time they start to knuckle that's knuckle it. down and uh, just concentrate lap after lap, but you look at it at the moment, they're sort of they're lapping at almost identical lap time. So it'll be interesting to see if Woody can pull in that gap. So I'll say, let's have a look at the um, cash, uh, cash cow car. Of Matty's well, Matty's, there he is. Matty's up to fifth, so he's gained one one position from that, uh, that disconnect, Night unfortunately. Havoc. But if yeah, Weary's got a pit for an, so. if Weary's got to actually pit for that little bit longer, he's, I reckon he could almost, he'll almost come out in the front after the pit stops. Uh, he's about 36th of the row, so yeah. He'll be close between these guys. But Weary Knight was the one driver who's, who went the longest in all sessions. Yeah, he was always so constantly he, he, going, a good four or five laps over what everyone else did, so... That's it. So here we go, man on controller versus man on wheel. Matty seeking the cash, show, cash cow car with Grant Denyer behind the wheel. Oh, that's wide. He's on the track. Let's come down to the S's. Not have it all over the rear bumper of him. Oh, Matty goes a bit wide. Yep, the point needs a bit, a, bit, a bit more room to make that turn in. The fact that he's racing on controller probably doesn't make that corner any easier as well, so that little bit lot no, wider. No, it's, it's quite, a, quite a tricky corner to get through, so here we go, Not have his on the rear bumper of him. Very nice, still hasn't fitted yet. Huh. He should be coming across the line now, or he has. And that he did a 204 that last lap, so... <laughs> it's quite surprising it's with nice. that amount of damage. Yeah, but everyone else is in the 204s. Simo's the only one in the 202s. Simo's absolutely fine. He's on a, he's on a next, next, next level at the moment, so... He's, 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 in, he's in the zone. Absolutely letting loose. Showing everyone else how to race the circuit. Oh, Manning runs wide. That's going to give him Night Havoc the chance to pass him now. Oh, a lot of luck behind him. His front bump bars all crumpled. He's Night Havoc unlatched himself now to Matty. Matty? Yep. So now Night Havoc has. Well, just over. What was it? At 23, 24 laps to get back around and pass him for that position again. <laughs> Anything can happen. So, Not even halfway through this last it. session. So. That's it. As, as you can clearly see, Highlander having a disconnect so early on. His right side, all on his lonesome right now. And we've just had another disconnect. We're down to 11. Who's disappeared? I just saw that. Sumo, Raisa, Woody, Rui, Knight, Matty, Knight, Harry, Gatto, Dark Lord. Uh, I don't know. Devil. No, Devil's no. there. He's in 10th. Low Lux? Yes, Low Lux. He's gone. Maybe. Lost Low Lux. Lost Low Lux. Unfortunate, yeah, we haven't had to disconnect the whole the whole series and well, the whole now race we about one thousand. We've had two in the one race, so, so down to eleven. Down to eleven, unfortunately, yeah. On a positive note, me and my teammate, we're not going to finish last. We're going to finish worst of eleven. No. So. <laughs> yep. It could work, Night Pegasus. Just uh, bringing it around, finishing off for us. That's it. So let's have a look at your teammate. He's there he is. Car's looking clean so far. 
Uh, yeah, but he's just got no pace in it. 208 is the last lap, so... Yeah, early on this week, I was having a bit of a chat to him, and he was having the, the struggle of bringing iRacing over to Project Cars, so... That's not it. quite the same dynamics, and he was str just struggling with a few corners, different gears, and cool. uh, setups. So. Cool. On his own, he's on his lonesome now. It's no one around him. No one, lonely no one race no, for no him. No one near him. There's absolutely no one near him. Like, you can just hear it. Yeah, look at that. Look at the look at the map trap. There's someone behind him coming through, but apart from that, he's got a, a lonely race with a lot of the cars around That's the it. other part of the circuit. Yep, the cars he's battling away on top of the mountain, so he's just almost half a track behind them as they reach Forest Elbow. But they're just coming off the mountain, he's going up the mountain now, so... Come back on board and have a look at this battle. Oh, Wrights are in second, it's five Woody. seconds behind with Woody. Dado's still sticking in there, two or threes. Dado's consistently, he's just like... Those, those slow laps you've seen is where he's been letting through the leaders, he just doesn't want to get involved in the... Uh, costing time to them. He found his um, secret source, and the secret source was... Get his Xbox cabled up. So, 205 slow lap that time, but still pretty consistent. We're not still in the 204s, he hasn't pit it yet, so the damage hasn't slowed him up heaps. But it's not helping his cause. So he might be sticking to his game plan and going the longest. Must be looking worse than what actually is. Well, he'll probably have quite a bit of damage here, so he probably doesn't have the rear end grip, but if you play with the anti-roll bars, you might get it back somehow. He's lap and a half a second quicker than Woody at the moment, so he keeps that up over the next 20 laps. He's going to put himself back into that podium position. That's it. So we're just about halfway now to the race. Jump down board, we'll jump on Timmy. We haven't seen much of him this race, so he's sort of just battling mid, mid pack. Car's nice and clean, so he hasn't uh, put into any trouble. He's got a He's got 5 minutes 23 to make up to Night Havoc, and he's got 1 minute 19 to Datto, so... In the middle of no man's, he's gone in no man's yep. land. So, just run his race and come home, good solid result. Must have a bit of a battle still going on down here between these two, Dark Lord and, and Devil. Been within yep. a second the whole lap race so far, so they're just lapping a, one, a, one lap after yep. another behind each other. And Devil's one of the newest guys to join our group. So he's doing pretty well. If you look at his last lap from the 206. So he's doing well. He's racing cleanly. He's sticking on Dark Lord's rear bumper bar. And he's got a massive draft here. Big draft he's here. He's to make the move here. He's going to make it look for the move. Oh, he's looking, but no, he chooses against time. it. Oh, that's late. Dark Lord locks it up, coming Locked into the chase up. now. That gives Devil the chance to get it up, run at him, but he chose it. Oh, here we go. Dark Lord's pitting. He's done. Question is, he, how long will, will uh, Devil stay out? Oh, he's done a he's done a darky pit entrance. <laughs> no, no, I'm almost through the gravel trap. So he's pinned for his lap 14 on lap 21, so we're just over halfway. I thought he would have gone a little bit further. So Maybe De fuel going Devil into could the car now. It, Devil could stay he out. Else. Comes oh, is, Timmy. That, is that Timmy, Timmy or is it a lap Timmy. leader? No, it's Timmy. No, the lap leader's catching up to your teammate, not. Take his first spot, is it? He is. So we've got two cars in pit lane right now, Timmy and Dark Lord. Maybe Devil can stay up for a few laps since he was lapping a little bit quicker and try and get the, the overcut. That's it. Timo's into the pit, so our race leader is into pit lane. He's literally pitted at the halfway mark now, so... Those guys getting their tyres done and repairs done to their cars now. As our race leader hits the pit lane, done. 
Should be just fuel, fuel and tyres for him. Yep, car looks clean. There goes Dark Lord, he's rolling, tyres are done for his car. And there goes Timmy, Timmy smokes it off. So Dark Lord had a bit of damage, he's repaired his car. So where's Rizzo? Rizzo hasn't gone past can... yet. Oh, there's Rizzo. Rizzo's in pit lane now too, so... Timmy has taken fuel, fuel's done. No, fuel's still going. Now fuel's done. Woody's yeah. also pitted too. Weary Knight's the only one staying out. The tyres are getting done now. You don't see the tyres getting done, but they do get done this way. So isn't su isn't in pit surprising. Lane. Woody's no. in pit lane. I thought these guys would have gone a little bit further. So Weary Knight inherits the lead now. See, and Weary Knight, he's consistently been yeah. taking extra three to four laps than everyone else and running a lot longer stints. As previously in the previous two sections, lose. As Simo starts rolling out now. So it's a battle between these two who can get out of pit lane quickest. As right, so I was taking be... plenty of fuel. He's well and truly going to be getting through those last few Yeah, highlight. There we go. Woody's fuel was done before, right? So we can yeah. see a jumping in position. Woody's taken, he has, he's taken six litres less. Oh, this is. That's Simo close to bad luck. Lane right now. So Woody's, gained, Woody's gained five seconds to be on the back side of right side. He was, he was a little bit behind. But... Weary Knight still in a 2A4 dead, so he's been consistently in those 2A4s with that damage. Oh, look at the front. He's had oh, another accident. Oh, no. He has crunched it. He's had an incident. I will be surprised if we don't see him in lane right now. You'll have to. That car will have no speed and straight line now. This is going to be a long stop. Look at that bonnet all crinkled up. Be straight in the steering, so it hasn't done too much damage there, but... No. But the rest of the car ain't straight. Not at all. So now he's the, um, now he's the uh, Wallflower Song One Headlight. What's this? <laughs> Expect to see him in, but I've said that many of times so far, and he's constantly staying out. So he's, coming now. he's, he's done it again. He's not coming in now. He's sticking to a plan. Let's see how much time he's lost cost him now. He did that last session too. So he stayed out probably two or three laps too long, and probably lost a little bit of time in the previous still session. Two or four, still the damage. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa! Okay, that, 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 that was. That's not good. That was interesting. That was interesting. Let's just hope yes, we don't that, get another. That, that's, a, <laughs> that's a lag spike. So yeah, that's that's very interesting. So something's definitely going on there with Weary. Maybe he's had a bit of a lag spike and hit the wall. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that might be an issue. It might be a lag spike. Maybe his car actually isn't damaged on the front, but the cars have a lag spike. Oh, that's well, I think Dado against the wall. Dado, or is he just pulling up and? That's, no, that's, yeah, that's Dado, he's pulling up and then Joe made it. Yeah, that might be true, he's had a lag spot for us, but his mm. car smacked the wall, might have it. But I think we saw that uh, in the previous session, um, I think we had a couple of cars that we that were very crumpled up but, to look at, but then they were still doing quite fast lap times, so maybe it just hadn't been repaired or we're just yeah, getting so that, we're that, probably, that glitch with the project assuming, cars. Yeah, so we're assuming that lag spot that we saw before. For us, his car has smacked the wall, but in reality, his car is clean as a whistle in the front. Except for the rear, that is definitely banged up. So his car is going to look like this for the rest of this session for us. Is Let's see what lap time he does now. It's not having to pit lane right now. So Maddie Seeking mustn't have pitted yet, I don't think. She's sitting in... No, he's in first. Yeah, so he hasn't, hasn't pitted yet. Oh, oh speaking of the devil. Now. That's the wall. <laughs> the old commentator's curse. Click onto him and into the wall. I blame you for that one, Jetto. <laughs> I I blame the cash cow curse, mate. Yeah, yeah that's it. The cash show, cash cow <laughs> curse. With Grant Daniel behind the wheel with the uh, code word is cream cheese baguette Bugget. milk. Baguette. Well, he's lying in a lot of place. 
It's, uh, it's a bit yeah, hard to see. <laughs> right side and right side and Woody. So this should be a position battle. After those yeah, pit this stops. This will be a position battle. So there's. It's, I believe Manny, should be for. It should be for second and third on track. Yeah. Uh, Oh, Woody closed up Woody deep under the brakes there. There's Matty. Matty's doing another lap. He hasn't picked yet. So is Weary Knight. He's losing time to Simo. Simo's in the 201s now. I know that. Let's have a look Matty at the timing. So we've got right Sower with a one second penalty and Woody with a three second penalty. So there's actually on track, there's not much of a gap. There's a two second buffer that Woody will need to catch up to overtake right so. That's it. So Sumo Fast Man 201531 on track. Bit fresh set of boots on that car, so he's uh That's it. Absolutely fly it now. There's Weary Knight on track, so he must be coming he close to the end of the lap again. He's, and here he, he comes. Lays in the pit lane. Oh, he locks it up. If we I go back to the right side on Woody, so they're at the top of the mountain. Oh, Woody getting it all wrong for the S as they're catching Matty. So that will be a battle for position here in a minute. Lysa versus Matty. Yeah, but Maddie's Maddie's yeah. technically a lap down. He hasn't pitted yet, so yeah, it would have been best interest for Maddie to keep his foot buried into it, doing the right thing. Not just yeah. not just giving free position. So Weary Knight's in pit lane now. So you'll probably lose you'll lose positions to these two cars. There he is. Fuel's going fuel's, in. Fuel feeling fuel. So That's Simo's close. taking over the lead now. Simo with a two minute nine eight eight. That is the fastest lap ever. It is. That's a lap record here for AusNZ combined at Bathurst 1000 race pace. That is it. So Simo's decided to uh, put the hammer down. I think we're on the roll. Rolling. He's going to fall behind though. I don't think he repaired his damage. I don't think he went to repair. He's just gone. If I got the cars right, I'm just going to leave it and run it. The question is, does he have damage? Is it a glitch? Is there not? That's the question. Nah, the re the re damage is yes. The front damage is no. Because when he backed into that wall, you can see the rear wing pop up and that. So he's yeah. damaged the rear end, the rear arrow. So but yeah, back back to our race leader, Simo, Simo Racing Four lap record here at OzNZ combined for the Bathurst 1000 race pace. He's absolutely flying here this year. He's been getting consistent times all weekend. It's, uh, uh, yes, Matty is still in the lead lap right now, so... Matty has to pit this lap now. He's 30 seconds behind there. He's just top of the mound. Yeah, he has to pit now. Could go one more lap if you wanted. Oh, uh, you're losing too much pace. You're losing too much time. See, he's look at that. He's, just, oh. he's got nothing. Yeah. He's got oh, nothing that? now. He's, he's let Weary Knight go through, but he's got nothing. Like the tires are. And do it, and like you know, they want to finish on the lap, but giving up positions like that is just costing more and more time. So Dado's in pit lane, Knight ha Pegasus is in Pegasus pit lane as too. Well. Knight Pegasus is out of pit lane, so Dado's. Yeah, so like to do pit, pit stops now. I think it's just Maddie now. Yeah, so Sirius has just commented that they plan to pit on lap 21, so obviously that hasn't gone to plan. It's lap 25 now. Yep. Here we go. Woody's got to run on right side. Right side defended to the final corner. Woody's gone around, around the outside. Around the outside. Make it stick. He's still there. They're too wide. Still there coming into the final turn. Still coming too into wide. Turn one. 
And that right side just has the overlap now. Woody pulls it up. Woody's gone side, deep. The outside, good long way. Good. He's oh, he's done well. He has, he's that's done a that. great he's pass. Driven, he's driven around the outside. He's taken him two corners, but he's driven around the outside. That's a great pass into turn one around the outside. Making Maddie's in pit lane now. Dado's Dado's still in pit lane. Oh, and Dado's still in, in pit, pit lane too. Pit long. Pit long. Dado's out of pit long. Pit long. Now let's have a look at Maddie in pit lane. Okay, oh, the team both in there. Credit to work where. So fuel's going in him. All right, let's go back to the battle. So the sun's going down. The shadows are going to be a bit longer in the day now. I'm on lap 26. Did so halfway it halfway through, almost, so the oh, right, so almost take the wall. The weather's definitely heating up now. The track temps will be up in the 50 degrees at the moment with the clear skies. So. So the track temp might be scooting up a little bit. Maddie's still in pit lane. Where is he? Where is Simo? Simo must be coming down Conrad right now. Are they going to go down a lap? He's, there yeah. he is, there's Simo. Oh, Maddie's, Maddie's left just pit, got lane. pit lane right now. Here we go. So he's battling Knight Havoc, who is a lap down. Simo's had a real slow lap that lap. He must have got caught up in some furious traffic. That's his. His slowest lap of the race at a 205.8. Maybe, maybe he was that excited by doing the, the two minute lap time. He's like, oh, I'm so quick now, I can back off. Yeah, I made, three, made, made, made so much time that previous lap, just have a slow one. A bit consistent. That's it. <laughs> so, Woody's starting to pull the lead here on right side. Maybe a change of tyres and some tyre pressure changes made his car come to life now for the final stint. I reckon. Oh, really no, that I reckon Woody really was nice just had a bad lap too. Actually, too. oh, that's because that pit lane out. I can see Woody. I reckon his his tactic would have been just let's just get through the first lot. Let's get through to the tire change and then put the pedal down and try and bring it home. They might have had a bit of pace that's there you. up his sleeve. Yeah. Woody can be extremely quick here. He does like the V8, so. Knight Pegasus is still a thing is, Woody needs to, as I said before, he needs to pull out a two second lead over right so if you're officially in second place with those time penalties. That's uh, it. As we look at those time penalties, Woody's got a three second penalty and right so has got a one second penalty. So, it's to pull that two second gap to be outright in second. Yeah, but I reckon he can do it. He, he looks faster now, so... He's got plenty of laps to do it. He doesn't need to pull out a big gap straight away. If he just does a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit there, but before you know it, he's pulled out two seconds like just then. Just, you know, just bumped up to about a second now. Yep. See, he's just a bit quicker through the S's and, the, and through Skyline and that, so... The Weary Knight's still lapping reasonably quick. He's down in the 203s as well, so... Five seconds so behind the these two yeah. at the moment. I see, so the damage isn't hurting him as badly as we thought, so he's doing well. He can consistently lap in those 203s, he could be on right sower by the end of this. That's it. Then looking at what right sower has got a one second penalty and Weary. One. Weary's got a one second as well, so. Basically on track position for them. Huh? Yeah, so I, th I think Woody's a little bit quicker across the top of the mountain than right sower right now. Either right sower's tyres haven't come in just yet. He's definitely pulled a gap in the. Wrong. Pulled a gap oh, yeah. this last lap. Yeah, he's, he's definitely on song now, so... Yeah, look at that, 202.8, that last lap. And there's Weary Knight in the background. There's Weary Knight in the background coming up the front straight now. So, second, yeah, third not and far behind. are all within... They're all literally the front straight distance apart from each other, so... A Weary caught up half a second that last lap, so... Woody, 202.8 then. Yeah, it was quick. Quick lap second, Woody. Second quicker than right, so, and that's where he's pulled out that uh, yeah. second and a half gap. Yeah. These cars definitely quick across the top of the road. <sighs> yeah, this is about the only battle left on track at the moment. Everyone else has got light, light years gap between any other battle or looks of it. 
No. See, I, a lot of drivers just running laps down now by the look of it. But the closest other battle would be for 10th and 11th, and that's I think Dark Lord and Devil. We've been battling this whole race. Non stop. Let's jump on board with the uh, race leader here. Race leader. That's it. So a lap with Bathurst with Simo, so turn it up. Tell us what we've got. The, the current record holder here at Bathurst with the set time of a two minute. Maybe a few laps ago. Down the third and then hard on the throttle on the exit. Into fourth. You're hard down onto the gears here again. Throttle, looking after the throttle around this corner. And quite a few guys come unstuck in that corner in this next corner this weekend. All about the throttle control up the mountain. The amount of paint that's on that wall just there. Quite thick over this <laughs> over this race. Can't do the S's. Catching on one of the back markers ahead. Which I think is Maddie. So Maddie's going to go another lap down. By looks like. Conrad, hitting excess speeds of uh, 290 clicks. Ninety-three, and hard on the brakes, and in the second gear to pull it up. Final corner. Hard on the accelerator out, and that's a lap. And that's it. You can see the sun's come down now into turn one, so it's getting a bit hard to see now. Oh, I assume it runs a bit wide there. Woody's pulled out, looking at second place now, Woody's pulled out a four second gap almost over right side now. As right side goes wide, as soon as we jump on board, overshot that corner. <laughs> So we're also just struggling now, this session. You better not struggle for much longer. Look in the background there. That's Weary Knight catching. Where is Weary Knight? There he is. Oh, oh as he goes sideways in the last corner. corner. Had a three second gap there between Weary and Knight's eye now. So he's definitely catching. Two seconds at lap. So right side did a 2 at 5.6 at lap. So he's dropped two seconds. So Woody's looking good with the time penalty to take away his second in this race now. That's it, on track now. He's officially probably in second position at the moment. So keep that going and hold that two second gap due to time penalties. Could hold on to that second. It should be... Yeah, very good for them. I can just show you how much the race can ebb and flow because they were up the front. They fell back in the middle two sessions a bit. Now they're back up near the front again, so... You're making the move at the right point of the race. And down the mountain, right? So uh, he's not havoc. Hunting down I'd have a go. I, think he, I think he started one lap down. I think he's still only no, one yep. more lap down looking at that time, three minutes. So holding yeah, his own this session. Still lap down. But he's only he's hunting down Maddie seeking to his unlap himself to Maddie. Yeah, so that'll be twenty four to make up to him. It's it, minute twenty four if he catches that, that'll be for position. But 
uh, Matty, if you look at his time, he's right on the cusp of going down a lap now. He already is down a lap, so we oh, watched him. We watched, yeah, we watched him overtake him down Conrad the last lap. Uh, minute 24 still with uh, 10 seconds, 10 laps to go. It's a, bit of a tough ask, but uh, whoever knows with that <laughs> with that cash that cash show curse, anything anything is possible. <laughs> Uh, Maddie's doing well, as, as we said previously, he's the uh, one and only person on controller, so very challenging track and... Uh, Ooh. Dark looking out of the way, dark very, not a very inconvenient spot up against the wall there. But the battle between Dark Lord and uh, Devil is actually sort of split up now too, so... Yeah, there's quite a bit between them now. Second, so. yeah. they're lapping consistently in the 205s. Look mm -hmm. at Dado. 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 Dado, the elder statesman of the group. There he is. Got his pension of plates up. Mm -hmm. I think he also passed in a disabled spot as well for how old he is. With his Zimmer frame, he needs to get out of the car. Got the special oh, pit lane here. In pit lane. Dark Lord is in pit lane now, so he's did a front end damage by the looks of that. Let's see. Well, they're putting fuel in the car. Although he forgot to turn the fuel off, but this is I reckon he's definitely got to enough fuel off. to get to the end. That's sixty. Yeah, he's got the liters. So this pit stop's going to be even longer. So technically, Night Pegasus might be able to pass him now. Depends on where he is. Top of the mountain. Oh. Probably not. No. Depends how big. No, you never know. It depends how big the damage is. So you. Oh, he might come out right behind him as he enters. Oh, there we Why? go. Now he's rolling. Yeah, so it should be should be quite clear. Well, he's closing the gap, but not. But not enough to actually pass him here, because it's going to be about a front straight between them. There he is. Dark Lord's away. Definitely close the gap so on it. And get it uh, yep. Going to give Night Pegasus something to aim for now. So it's uh, always these little battles going on. It doesn't matter where you are in the race. Be first. That's it. Three to 11. He's burning off the cars in front now, because Weary Knight's running, Simo's running 204s. Woody's in 204s, right side's in 204s, we're not 203s. We're we're still, we're still, still, still pumping out quick times, 203s as well. that has been consistently quick, he's just uh, fortunately been down that order with all the front runners running through and he's done, as we said, the gentleman thing and let them all through, which is some of his laps on. Go to the race leader. 32 seconds ahead of second place at the moment. They're quite comfortably. We've got what six, six more laps, seven laps to go. So. Uh, eight more laps to go. Eight more laps. Yeah, my math. <laughs> Not too good at the moment. So, still, still, <laughs> still a long way to go. Whoa, Simo gets a bit loose there. Oh, he's cutting oh, that tight. Right. He's that's cutting right that tight. Oh, he's hit the wall. Oh, he's hit the wall again. I think he's struggling now. I think the car's just gone away from him badly has now. It, has it just gone in the last five laps of tyres? We're right on that cusp of the... Has, has the weather changed that much and the tyres have come worn down a bit and there's no good and 
He's just struggling with everything now, so. Or he's just had a moment in that section. <laughs> you have one moment, quite often the next corner you have another moment to lose. So. That's it. You gather his thoughts as he comes down the straight and then you can do it. So Woody's holding that four second gap through to second and third place. That doesn't look like Weary's actually making any ground at the moment on the right, so we're still at four seconds there. Yeah, the left ones are pretty even against each other. Consistent between the three. Uh, Night Pegasus is in, if that's correct, 13 seconds of... of Dark Lord. Dark Lord. Dark Lord's coming around there and Pegasus is on the, yeah. on the Conrad straight. Yeah. So. So, 30, so, so Dark Lord's on his outlap oh. from pit lane. So 13 seconds of battle. That can move you up into the top 10. His Weary Knight. With a very crumpled falcon. The front damage is uh, a uh, lag spot damage. The Itch. rear damage is actual damage. Yeah. So I'm still surprised he's doing so well with the rear with the rear end of the car so bent up. So we have a look at the trap mat and where he is. You can see the next two in front of him. Only a corner in front, so there's not a not a big difference on track. And the other then dot, right at the, the top other of the, dot, right at the bottom <laughs> of the map. That's Simo. That's where he is. He's so. almost probably got a third of a track ahead of everyone at the moment. That's it. So as you can clearly see, everyone's spaced out now. Everyone's sort of just running their own little bit. No one's really near anyone. They're just running the laps down now. Night Havoc. Trying to hunt down bit, Matty Seeking. Been a bit of a lonely race for Night Havoc. Started one lap down That's by himself, so. Been consistent. Car's yeah. clean. Holding his own on this on, on the lap. Doing a good, a good time. So 204.8 that last lap. Yeah. A bit quicker than Matty in the previous lap, but still a long way behind him. So we're down to four cars in the lead lap now. The four cars in red at the top of the time tree there. He may have pulled up a time penalty there. Have that on the floor. Yeah. I think it's a one second penalty. I think the biggest one is uh, Woody's is three. Woody with a three. But Simo's just gone past the start finish line to start his 35th lap. Tell you what though, the, the right, that race for second spot He's still close, so take two seconds off that time gap. That's the yeah, real Woody time. Woody has a mistake somewhere. Or well, right side picks up a bit of pace. About half a second between them, really. Yeah, it's, it's closed in again now. Oh, right side's picked up the pace. 202 now. Woody for 204. Rear Knight with a 203. It's going to be an interesting last seven laps. That's it. Everyone's just sort of spaced out now. Doing their own thing. Bit of a stagnant uh, in, in the race here. The auto. Yeah, this is the unfortunately the boring part where people have made their moves and it's paid off all this. Or they just send themselves up for a last little burst of run at the end, or they have got nothing underneath them anymore, and they're just trying to run down the laps. Everyone's spaced out that three, four, five seconds in the, in the key places, and it's just a matter of doing laps now to keep that out. That's it. Do laps, don't hit the wall, don't incur time penalties, just run the car around. So 
Is Timmy another person doing a lonely race? Would have been no man's land there, isn't he? But, uh, well, Dado's 40, oh, 40, that, 40 seconds behind. behind. He's, He's pulling time, though. four to five seconds a lap. But we don't Might have not that be enough. Left remaining. We've only got, like, yeah, we've only got about five laps remaining. So. Well, it was 10 laps to go, there was 50 seconds between this two, and that's where we said if well, he pulls 10, 5 10 seconds for their race, race. But the actual race is in lap 36, so... <laughs> that's true, yeah. yeah. But Timmy's had a lo lonesome race this whole session. No one to really battle with, but well, sometimes it can be a good thing. Yeah, just get into the, the groove of your own racing. That's it, just run the laps down, so he's... Most of these guys have all gained at one position due to Highlander's disconnect, and also he, I don't know if Lolux was ahead. If Lolux was ahead of him when he disconnected, I think I think I can't remember. I don't know what pack he was in, but he was with Timmy at some point. I think that's what we had everyone on the lead lap, yeah, and then we was had Timmy actually. Yeah, we had everyone on the lead lap, and then we had um, Night Havoc by himself, one lap down, and then I think two other car the next two cars were. Three or four laps down, and the last you were on. There's, so. there's not having catching up to your teammate, Night Pegasus. Yeah, well, up the there, place. Be careful there. <laughs> Went out wide, Jumbo letting him through. That's it. It's not how he gets past Night Pegasus. Oh, so, here we go. 35. On lap 35, and to our leader is on lap 36. Oh, look at the side of that Falcon. <laughs> I saw he had a little bit of damage on it early on. Oh, he's on the grass. He's had a lot more damage now. Distantly in the 202s, 203, Simo. We've got that 33 second buffer. Yeah, even with the damage to the side of the car, it's not really slowing down too much. And then you look at second, third, and fourth that last lap. They're pretty much uh, neck and neck in race time, so there's not much gain, not much lost at the moment. Yeah, the next three, was it, aren't they? Uh, have they come across pit lane? Not yet, I think. Oh, they would have now. Yeah, so Woody rides on where he, oh, there he is, Woody's in 203. So he's picked up his pace again. Picked up a bit of pace, but then right side is in the 202. 202, <laughs> so he's closing that gap down now. Potentially on the... Three Rudy seconds. So There's a three. Yeah. Oh, Pretty much a three oh, second. Oh, that's Ooh, who's devil. that? That's devil. It is down to eleventh. Oh, that's oh, a big crash. No, there's a big crash on top of the mountain. There's no boots, so, no bonnets, no wing. Well, your car, your teammate has now jumped up into ten. Jumped up to ten. That just shows what can happen from a thirteen grid field if you just keep pressing on. So that is one deconstructed Falcon right now. So you'll see him in pit lane shortly. We'll be nursing that one down. Lucky enough there's no one on track coming up behind him, I don't believe. So Nah. Not that it should affect. We've got a fair bit of a bunch here coming over the top, which I reckon that's our leaders. Yeah, that'll be Woody, right so uh it is. Really, they're all closing. They're all closing in on each other. Yeah. So here's Simo. Fast start is 38 lap. Well, Woody, oh, gets Woody goes there. wide. He's catching up to Maddie. Maddie seeking. As Maddie front. said. That's it. Yeah, Woody's on the cusp of losing second place to his time pony. Right, so he's only 3.9 seconds behind. Yeah. So. Just make sure that those timings are right. We've still got the three second penalty and the one second penalty, yes. So it's all something gap. closed down right at, right at the end now. Right so side of Woody. Devil's made it to pit lane, so he's going to be in pit lane for quite a while. They rebuild his Falcon. Right, so I can see all Woody locks up coming in one slightly. Right, so it was a bit right. slower that lap, 204, Woody was quicker. 
Woody gets through lap traffic at a good time too. Hopefully uh, Maddie in right so I can get over the top and not lose too much time there between the two. That probably catch Maddie coming down the mountain. That's pretty safe save. Oh, oh no, no. Maddie! Maddie's Maddie must over. have pulled over. Yeah. That's it. So now he's gonna. Now he's got uh, Weary Knight come up behind him. He was half a second quicker than these two that last lap too, but he's still four seconds down. So. That's it. Pushing hard now. It'll be pretty much quality lap after quality lap to try and get that position back. That's it. Four seconds. Slow lap then. Two oh five. He's made a mistake Did somewhere. Weary have a time penalty. Yes, he has yes, a one second the penalty, the same as right sower. So on track position. Timo's had a slow lap that last lap in the two oh five. That's it. Not back on the two oh fours again. He's on lap 39 oh, as, he goes, as he goes wide into turn one. I, I think his <laughs> tyres are pretty much shot now. He's got a couple more laps to go. Who's that behind, who was that behind him? I think that was Dado. He's Woody Lizard. Second place man. Woody's pulled it's out a seconds behind half, a, half a second that last lap on night, so are two. So that's helped his cause. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Devil. He's out a bit late. And I think he just... The wall Hit the wall, the I think. Zone. Yep. There's right side and there's... They're a little bit they're further behind. Still, they've only pulled a gap a little bit on each other, but they're still a front straight apart, so... It's, this was stuck yeah. there. Devil's come out of the pits and then crashed it in the first or second corner. Yep, so his car's a little bit more banged up now. He's ten laps down on the leader now. Yeah, right, so well, there we are. So four seconds ahead, four seconds behind. So what we got two laps left remaining. Two and a half laps. Two and a half laps, yeah. Oh, I think right side is struggling with the tyres now, trying to get the power down. A bit weary pulled out half, half a second that last lap. Also, I think the sun's for oh, oh, bang! Right side hits the wall. Also, I was just about to say, the shadows are not helping the drivers either. They, they'll be getting into their eyes, going across through Reed Solomon, through McPhillan, across Skyline. So now the shadow's in behind them, so you're just looking into darkness. But yeah, the shadows might be having a bit of an effect on the drivers with their eyesight. As you said, I reckon right side was struggling with those tyres. He's come over, over the top of the so mountain there and slammed into that that's rear it. side panel. That's it, that's giving Woody a bit more of a breather now. Well, that puts right side, uh, a weary night in potentially striking distance of right side. 789, so yeah. Didn't lose a lot of time though, it was in the fast section of that corner, so. Didn't lose a lot of time from that, from that side that's panel. No. Still sitting, Sometimes maybe half, away, half a second. It, yeah, yeah. 3.2, it was at 4. There's so. Woody, there's Timmy. There's also a weary night in the background there. We're on lap 40 now, with two to go. One and a half to go, really, so we've got a lap yeah, leader Ross, Simo Ross here. 2049, oh, he's raining this car. He's, he's taking a lot oh. of risks that he shouldn't be taking. He's 30, sec 30 seconds up with a lap and a half to go. But <laughs> That's it. And he's pushing it. If you're a racer, you're a racer. As you know, Darky, there's no letting loose. That's it. <laughs> we'll see it home uh, now. Dado's actually came in a lot on Timmy now because Timmy did a 207. So Dado's closing in, but I think he's going to run out of laps. Got up to 13, 14 seconds. Yep. Him his last lap at 2.17, so something's happened there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so he's probably had a spin somewhere, so that's cost him time. That's why Dado's closed up on him. Timmy's another spin. Dado's actually going to make the move on him. 
it's still about a minute between Maddie and Night Havoc. So Night Havoc's pulled in a bit more time, but not enough. So as we're looking at a race leader coming through the chase for the second last time. And here we go, the final lap of the Oz NZ final lap. Racing League's Bathurst 1000. It lap 161 of the four That's sessions. It. That's it, and here we go. 6.2 kilometers to go, and we'll have a brand new Bathurst 1000 champion. Also, don't forget to find us on Facebook, which is Oz, A-U-S, N-Z, Combined Racing League. If you're an Australian or New Zealand Project Cars Xbox player and you want to come do racing with us with these series, find us in the group there and answer the questions. We also have an Instagram account, which is ANZCRL. We also have the YouTube channel, which is Oz AUS NZ Combined Racing League, which all these streams get put up there for prosperity. See, we're out of the cutting. Starting to come across the top of the mound. We should hear the fans cheer. Yeah. 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 All the Holden drivers are up there burning, burning their flags. <laughs> I think he's definitely he eased up, right, sir. and I think Simo's eased up a little bit now. He's just easing it down through here, waving to all the fans. Gonna, how much fuel does he have for the final lap? He's not going to do a champion potentially, is he? Nah, nah he's got <laughs> enough fuel. He's definitely got enough fuel. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, they all should. <laughs> yeah, we're all, yeah, we're all good. So here comes Simo, down Conrad for the final time. Almost a parade lap for him, isn't it? 28 seconds in advance yeah, to second yeah, place. He's back. He's, he's backed it off now, but I think Woody's also broken the back of right side. It is out to, six second lead out to now. six seconds lead. I don't think Weary's going to so catch right side either, so... Nah, he's within two seconds, but I don't think it's going to happen unless something happens dramatically end. There's Dark Lord. It's, Dark uh, will be Simo's, out the Simo's going to bring it across the right, off the road for Simo and Dredd, combining the 2020 Bathurst 1000. And there we go. Simo racing, here comes Woody Lizard. Yeah, he's breaking the back well of Well and truly so clear of right sower now. So that's, that's a great drive by Woody, pulling it up into second place. Yep. And well. Into the final corner for Woody. Congratulations to Woody and Illogical Sports in second place. That's it. As Simo's doing burnouts right now, on turn one, here comes right side, and Weary Knight. Oh, Weary, he was catching. So right side are in third place, teamed with And Clark Woody's doing Hill. burnouts too. And it's burnout There's central Woody. time. There's Simo doing mad skids up the hill. Mad skids. So I think we should go have a quick look at the uh, Cash Show Channel 7 Cash Cow car. There's Timmy, he's finished the race. There oh! he is. There's Maddie and Night Pegasus. There's they Pegasus. finished the race, coming home in fifth. Who's still racing? People have oh, believe that this bit, uh, <laughs> There you go, stand there, bang, and it gets Maddie's crashed the car. Uh, Dark, Dark Lord's Lord still coming down. So Dark Lord, final car on the track now. Oh, there's one more ahead of him, which I believe... I can't tell what that is. That might be Devil, actually. Yeah, Devil still coming oh, no, out Devil, the top. Devil will be the last car. There's Timmy. Here comes Dark Lord. Had a good qualifying position. I was about to say we should probably get the uh, race winner into the party, but Simo doesn't have a mic, so he can't talk. No. <laughs> so. so here comes Dark Lord. Finishes up. And that's, that's all she wrote. Done and, du done and dusted for the 2020 V8 Supercar 1000 for Oz and Z Combined Racing League. So, Simo Racing takes the win over Woody Lizard ahead of Rysol, ahead of Weary Knight. 
Matty Seeking comes home in fifth. Good result for him on the controller. One lap down ahead of Night Havoc. Timmy82 finishes seven. Data Racer finishes in eighth. Dark Lord finishes in ninth. Night Pegasus gets home in tenth from starting last. And Devil finishes in eleventh. So that is it. We are done and dusted, guys. So we are back to normal championship rounds next week. Which will be, all right, no, after Bathurst 1000, the actual real event. So we're probably having a week off now after the real event, which I believe is next weekend. And then we'll be back into it for a sprint race at Laguna Seca. So Super 2 will be on Saturday nights and main game will be on Sunday night. So I'm your host, Dusk Raking 40 alongside me, Jero13. And that is it for tonight. Goodbye.